Hi again, this is my next video, uh, Meeting to Marion, uh, part 5. I just want to encourage, uh, again, you guys out there who are still single, that God is so faithful in providing your needs. And it simply takes an act of faith on your side, on your part, to actually believe that God loves you enough. doesn't matter what you look like, what your size, what your background, culture, race, whatever it might be that God is able to provide you the most wonderful partner for life you could ever imagine if you really trust in Him and His mercy and His kindness and His promises. God cares a lot about you. And as I said before, I've waited 26 years for God to provide the very best in my life. And because I waited for Him and for my wife-to-be, Angeline, we both agree that God is fulfilled in both of our lives already exceedingly abundantly above what we could ever ask or imagine in every facet of our life or every every fibre and core being, every atom of our body our mind, soul and spirit we are so in tune and so alike each other, so suited, so compatible because we allowed God to choose who he wanted for each of us and obviously he chose Angeline for me and me for her and I want to encourage you as well that when God sets you on a path He'll give you all the resources to be able to complete the mission and for me and for Angeline it's a great mission we have much paperwork to do, we have documents and visas to fill out we have much evidence to gather together of financial status letters of support from various from the families and from churches and there's a lot of logistical things to sort out yet in all this God gives us peace and we trust in him and he will give us all the resources we need and every single test and trial and fear or doubt that we've had along the way he is removed from us every negative comment from anybody he is removed given us peace and help and comfort given us his approval all the way and he is a wonderful and caring God and does wonderful things and he provides for us in a wonderful wonderful way and he does make our dreams come true. But in all our love for each other and all our relationship with each other, we both still put our Lord Jesus first in our lives. We set the day before him and worship him and always love him above each other. But after that, we put each other first and seek to fulfill the pattern of scripture that, for me, is certainly as a man, that as Christ loved the church, so I should love my wife one day. So be encouraged. Don't give up on your dreams and your hopes. Don't give up. Don't let the enemy to say there's no way that God's going to provide you somebody you'll really be in love with, a real soulmate, somebody really wonderful for you. Just be prepared to wait for God's time. That's the main thing. Don't take second best. Don't think, don't try and force the issue. Try and push in a half open door or a half locked door as it were. Wait for God to really open your heart to the person that he has chosen for you. And you'll know in your heart this person's the right one. But if you have any doubts or any fears about such a person, don't force it. It's better to wait longer to get the right person than to make a mistake. And through my life, I've had several options come across my path that caused me pain. Because they weren't quite the right one. Something inside said they weren't. But I had to let them go. And now I see the reason why. God has given me the very best. So be encouraged. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't let anybody say that there's no hope for you. Because I'm 50 years old. I'll be 51 when I'm married nearly. And I can honestly say that it's worth waiting all the years for. And all the pain and all the tears. And God has blessed me greatly.